welcome back to our world outdoors I'm Melissa and as promised we are going to do a video on how you can make pasta salad or make your pasta in the Pampered Chef quick cooker um, so you can make up to three boxes of the regular 16 ounce boxes of pasta in this so a lot of people say that you can't make it in it that it gets too soft or whatever but I'm going to show you how I have found that you can make it so just dump your uh, pasta in and then you are going to cover it with just enough water to get to the top of the noodles uh, make your water as hot as possible and then in just a minute I'll show you how to get it started okay so I put hot water in it and I added it to just above the noodles dropped it down in there um, I turn this and whenever you turn it it locks it so keep in mind don't forget that there's a button up here that if it's pushed in from the last time you used it it's going to let your steam out and it's not going to um, seal up so make sure that the button is not pressed and make for sure that this button is actually the little cloud is facing the other one okay so on this thing it doesn't have a pasta setting but you can use the custom setting so what we're going to do is do custom and then hit time and then take it all the way down to one minute that's right one minute is all you need it on for so it's going to pressurize heat up it's going to pressurize it's going to be on for one minute we're going to let it set for 10 minutes after that and then we're going to let the steam out of it and then we're going to have the perfect pasta for pasta salad so we'll hit start let that get started and then i'm going to go ahead and start getting my vegetables ready okay so we just turned it off it pressurized it cooked for one minute after it pressurized and then i unplugged it so now we are on our 10 minute countdown i got seven minutes left so we are going to go ahead and mix up all the rest of our ingredients so whenever we drain these and cool them off we'll be ready to go so my recipe is i'm sure there's a million different pasta recipes out there um i don't always put the same veggies in but we like a lot of veggies so I have carrots here we've already chopped up everything to make it easier so we got carrots some radishes some green peppers some broccoli those in there I put tomatoes in mine some people don't So as you can see, we got a bunch of veggies in there. I put one small can of chopped black olives. I do that because some of the grandkids and some of the other ones say they don't like olives and they don't even know they're in here this way. And I still get the flavor. So got those mixed in there. Now what I do is I put two thirds of a cup of olive oil. I guess I gotta open it up here. You can use whatever oil you want if you use vegetable oil, whatever. Um, the reason we use olive oil is because we normally use coconut oil on everything. However, um, with this, coconut oil would harden up so we don't use it. I use olive oil equal amount of apple cider vinegar two-thirds of a cup my hubby always has a heart attack because he thinks it's too much but then whenever he gets it he absolutely loves it so I do to start with I do about a half of a bottle of Italian dressing 
We all know I don't measure anything, so I just kind of do it to taste. Oddly enough, I put ranch dressing in mine. So I don't put as much ranch as I put Italian. So I just put just a couple little drops in there like that. Black pepper. And some salt. So while the noodles is cooking and resting, then I just go ahead and mix this up so that the dressing starts soaking into the veggies. Sometimes I put onions in it, sometimes I don't. It's according to who's coming for dinner. Whether or not, you know, people are allergic to stuff or whatever. It looks like I need some more Italian dressing. Put that in there. The ranch dressing gives it like a creamy taste. Kind of like the, um creamy Italian dressing that you used to be able to get and I can't seem to find it anywhere. So that kind of gives it more of a creaminess to it instead. I don't know if you can see the dressing in there or not, but that's why I like the ranch in it. Let's see how much time we got here left. Looks like we got about three minutes left. So we'll be back in a few. Okay, so we're back. I um, let the steam off the cooker and then I took the pan over to the sink, washed my pasta, and as you can see, it's just like it's the perfect texture for pasta salad. So, say you want this a little bit doneer, then you just leave the steam in there a little bit longer. Maybe do it 12 minutes, you know, 15 minutes. If you want it a little bit um, more al dente, then do it like 8 minutes. Uh, seven minutes, you know, do it to whatever is going to fit what you are doing. Ten minutes works great for pasta salad. So, we're going to get these put in here. And as you can see, it just makes a magnificent pasta salad. We absolutely love this recipe, but you can do it any way that you want. Um, once again, we cook the noodles in the Pampered Chef quick cooker. And of course, everything else is just chopped up. But look at that. Just perfect. Alrighty. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you the next time.